Solar impulse was clearly a way to demonstrate what we can achieve as a so-called impossible goal with renewable energies, with clean technologies, and inventing an aeroplane that can fly with absolutely no fuel around the world. And say, well, if it's possible to do it in the air, of course, all these clean energies can also be used on the ground. This solar impulse project, 20 years ago, the cost of photovoltaic electricity was 40 times the cost of today. So we, we needed to show that photovoltaic was not an anecdote. It was something credible that could be used. That solar-powered airplane is a way to really show that clean energies and clean technologies have a future. They can achieve impossible things. The most memorable moment with Solar Impulse was flying across oceans, very long flights, several days and several nights in a row, and looking at the sun, knowing that it was the only energy that was making by electric motors running. And there was no noise, there was no pollution, there was no fuel, and I could fly as long as I wanted. And in the beginning, I thought, that's the future. I'm in a science fiction story, but not at all. It's only what the current technologies allow us to do currently. And when I understood that I was only in the present, it made me aware of how much the rest of the world was in the past. To have thermal engines that waste three quarters of the energy that is put into the tank. Badly insulated buildings, inefficient heating, cooling and lighting systems, old industrial processes, dirty fuels. We think it's normal. No, it's not normal. This is causing the problem because we're in the past. Instead of using the most modern solutions, the most modern technologies, it's not only a question of decarbonizing our world, it's a question of modernizing our world to make it efficient, to stop wasting energy, wasting natural resources, wasting food, wasting water. So at this moment, I thought, okay, I have not yet landed for the round the world solar airplane flight, but I already know what I want to do. I want to launch the Solar Impulse Foundation in the identification of technical solutions that can modernize the world by making it more efficient. We have identified 1,600 of these systems, processes, materials, devices, products to use them and promote them so people become aware that the tools for modernization and decarbonization exist. Solar Impulse was a symbol. It was not there to transport passengers, just to promote clean technologies and renewable energies. So now the goal is to go further. The goal is really to show that we can decarbonize aviation. And how can we do that? Not just with solar directly on the plane, but we need solar or wind on the ground to produce green hydrogen. And this green hydrogen can be the fuel for an airplane. Climate Impulse Project is a project to have a green hydrogen powered airplane fly non-stop around the world. Hydrogen is not only for heavy transport, it's also for the steel industry, also for the fertilizers industry, also for trains or boats or heavy trucks. It's a way to show that there are solutions, a way to restore hope and to put some more action. Some more action, have an exciting flagship of climate action that can mobilize the enthusiasm of the people. Green hydrogen is today in a paradoxical moment. There are not enough producers because there are not enough clients, and there are not enough clients because there are not enough producers. We absolutely need to increase the offer and the demand simultaneously to reach what we call the critical mass. That means the moment where there is enough production and consumption to have the price decrease. It happened like this for solar power. In 20 years, the price was divided by 40. And it will happen exactly the same for hydrogen. We need to give this wish to use hydrogen, and not just one region of the world, but everywhere, and to show hydrogen as a perfect diversification business opportunity 
for oil and gas companies as well as for other type of industries. If we want to succeed in the energy transition, we absolutely need to involve the oil and gas industry. The oil and gas industry, they have technologies, they have a lot of employees, they have experience, they have a lot of financial means. We cannot do it without cooperation between all the industries, between all the countries. And this is why a, a clean hydrogen summit like we have in Abu Dhabi is, is crucial, absolutely crucial with people who are passionate about hydrogen. And now they will be ambassadors of this clean hydrogen summit everywhere in the world. There's a lot of creativity among innovators. What is very important for them to know is that their solutions will only be successful if they are economically profitable for the industry, for the economy, for the financial business. I participate in the Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week since years. And I found it absolutely fascinating that Abu Dhabi can attract so many global players. You have all the industry who is here. You have the political people, you have key decision makers. Abu Dhabi, who is an oil producing country, who is a rich country, who is showing the way to sustainability, showing the way to diversification, I really pull my hat. I, I think it's extremely useful and the impact on the world is absolutely uh, crucial. Sustainability today should not only be a wishful thinking for the future, it should be a practical action in the present. Modernize our world, make it more efficient, use clean energies in order to include this new pioneering spirit into the industry, the economy, and the financial systems. This is the greatest adventure that we can run today. Maybe you have admired the big exploration feats, discovering America, crossing the oceans, going to the moon. Now it's about something else that is even more important. It's about getting a good quality of life on Earth and include all the actors into that goal. This is what we have to achieve as soon as possible the greatest adventure of the 21st century.